Hello, Health 230 students. My name is Brian Clark, and I will be your instructor for this course. Today, I'd like to show you how to use Blackboard and go over some of the assignments and generally give you information about the logistics of this course. All right. Uh, first, let's take a look at the course plan. So if you would, click on course plan on the left-hand side of your screen and then open up the course plan. There are a couple ways to open that up, but um, I ideally, hopefully, that will open up in your browser. If not, you can, of course, download it and open it up in Microsoft Word. My contact information is there at the top. The 674-3600 number is to my office. Uh, the bclark at nr.edu is, um, is my email, and um, that does go to my smartphone. So um, I, I recommend, if you want to get in touch with me quickly, email is the best way to do it. My office, God be room 46. You can refer to the course plan. Um, I'm sorry, pardon me, refer to um, Blackboard for my office hours and I do want to encourage you to come by and see me on a regular basis. I um, absolutely will be glad to answer any questions that you have and to even serve as a, a bit of a tutor for you. Um, online classes are tough and you should feel empowered to utilize me as a resource to learn the material. Um, I have uh, posted lectures out there and, and certainly I, I, it is my greatest hope that that technology does allow for you to um, to to um, pardon me sorry about that uh, I do hope that the technology that is out there that allows me to record my lectures allows you to uh, improve your uh, grasp of the material because I, I realize full well that the learning environment in an online class is dramatically different. You, you can't just raise your hand and ask a question. But what you can do is you can drop me an email or you can you can call me and um, uh, if you call me during my office hours we can we can chit chat and we can bring up a PowerPoint and, and talk about it and, and it gives you an opportunity it gives you a learning opportunity and an opportunity to conceptualize the material. So all that is to say but I want you to feel empowered to use me as a resource. Next important item there is the textbook. You absolutely positively must have the textbook. Um, there is absolutely no way to be successful in this course without it. I, I do apologize for the cost, but um, I, I, uh, I want to assure you that this text is, in my opinion, the single best text on the market as it relates to clinical nutrition. The title is, of course, Understanding Normal and Clinical Nutrition. And um, let me go ahead and click on that. Maybe that, that will keep that from appearing. Well, no. Well, maybe. Ho hopefully that is still recording. Um, in addition to the text, you are also going to need dietary software. And uh, the software that we use for this class is called Diet Analysis Plus. You need version 9.0 or higher. There is a, a version 10.0 out there. Version 9.0 will work, though. Uh, so you may, uh, in particular, if you buy a used text, be able to find version 9.0 a little bit cheaper. If Oh, and one more item to mention. If you buy the textbook from the NRCC bookstore, that software is already bundled with the text, so there is no need to make an additional purchase. I would ask that you read through those course objectives. Right here is what you really want to know. There will be eight unit tests. and. Um, each is worth 100 points, so that is a total of 800 points. And then the biggie. There is a diet analysis project. Um, when you're in Blackboard, you will notice that the diet analysis project is not yet available to you. Uh, I will make it available to you with approximately five weeks to go in the semester. And um, it's um, it's my, my distinct uh, and, and this distinct observation that 
uh, those people who do not get started immediately upon that project oftentimes do not do very well on that project. So I want to encourage you as soon as it, it becomes available and you start receiving some emails from me about it and you start seeing some items in the assignment section about pardon me uh, about that assignment you need to go ahead and start working on it. This class is graded on a 10 percentage point scale so nine oh whoops I left off one assignment item uh, the introductory letter is worth a whopping 10 points but I do want you to do it this class is graded on a 10 percentage point scale so 90 to 100 percent is an A 80 to 90 percent a B 70 to 80 percent a C and so on um, so that corresponds to 909 to 1001 points being an A, 808 to 908 a B and so on. This next item, it is of tremendous importance and if I remember correctly I, um, I did ask that in your introductory letter that you give some verification to me that you understand my testing and late policy. Uh, the the first sentence uh, says it best late assignments or tests are not accepted in this course the nature of online learning allows you more than ample time to get your assignments in before the deadline so it is my expectation that you turn your assignments in well before the deadline uh, inevitably testing problems happen so in my opinion you should be taking your tests no later than Wednesday. They are due no later than Thursday at 10 o'clock. But I think that it would be a very good practice on your part to take those no later than Wednesday. And that way, if you do have technical issues, you can contact me. Now, I do have a policy in place in the event that you know, that, that, that there are true extenuating extenuating circumstances. However, I, I never accept assignments late. I will excuse an assignment uh, when, when there is truly an extenuating circumstance so that assignment does not count toward your final grade. Uh, you, you will need to communicate with me and document that extenuating circumstance. All right, uh, next, I want you reading over the withdrawal policy. Uh, don't have to worry too much about that in this class because you all are all such good students. Um, and, and that actually is rather true. Um, I find that um, uh, find the completion rate to be much better in this class than in some others. But I know that's because many of you all are, are moving toward a, uh, a job in a clinical field and you understand the responsibilities that go along with working in a clinical field. All right, the remainder of that I will let you read over on your own. Your lectures, or the, the lectures, will be located here. So if you click on lectures, you can see that chapter one's already out there. Um, I did delete chapter, uh, I didn't delete it. Um, <laughs> the, the link for chapter two uh, was not working, so I need to re record that. So you don't see chapter two out there, and test number one is on chapter one and two, but you'll see the remainder of the lectures uh, as you scroll down. And they are, are on YouTube. Your PowerPoints are over here. If you want to access your grades, you can click there. It's going to give me an error code because I don't have any grades. And um, I think that's that's it in a nutshell. Oh, I, I didn't click. Oops, well, let me touch on one more item there. Um, right here are your assignments. And to complete an assignment, say for example the introductory letter, you simply click on the title of that assignment. It's going to open it up. You're going to have your instructions here. Um, and in this assignment I ask you to answer everything in the submission section down here. T 
tests are tests are a little bit different of course you click on the test and it is, it is worth noting that once you start a test you must finish it you may not save your work and come back at a later time to complete that test once you start a test you have 60 minutes to complete it and do, do not try to save it or exit out you have to take that test once you start it if you do exceed the time limit there is a five point penalty and an additional five points for each additional minute so very quickly if you exceed that time limit there's going to be a big penalty all right, I think that's it. Um, thank you for your attention. I do want to wish you good luck. Uh, you're going to be exposed to some, some wonderful information that is applicable to your own personal life uh, in addition to the clinical setting. So uh, I hope that on a personal level that you utilize this information to be healthier and, uh, and, and, and happier. Uh, as it relates to your professional development, the information to which you're being excused, being, the information to which you are being exposed, will benefit you in a clinical setting. Because, um, as someone who's worked in a clinical setting, uh, y y you need to know terminology. You need to understand what the dietitians are doing. You need to understand conditions that may be occurring because of of malnutrition. And um, you know, once you develop an eye for these things, um, it's it's not overly hard to make recommendations to patients based upon their their signs and their symptoms. So, with that being said, good luck.